what's with this crazy cold? It's October 4th, 2025, and cities like Chicago, Minneapolis, and even parts of Texas are freezing as if it's January. Record-breaking lows, frost on windshields, and a biting chill. This isn't just a cool autumn breeze. The weather has gone bonkers, with seasons seemingly out of order. One week it's t-shirts, the next it's heavy coats. This weather whiplash is confusing and a bit alarming. So, what's behind this early deep freeze? Meet the polar vortex. It sounds sci-fi, but it's a real powerful part of our weather system. A giant spinning top of cold air that usually stays locked over the North Pole. Lately though, that top is starting to wobble. When the polar vortex wobbles, it impacts everything. What we wear, how much we pay for heating, and even our food supply. It affects farmers, wildlife, and our daily routines. By understanding the polar vortex, we can make sense of these wild weather swings. Our planet's systems are deeply connected, and sometimes, that means a very cold surprise. Let's dive in. So what is the polar vortex? Imagine Earth wearing a giant icy hat of air, sitting atop the North Pole. This hat is a vast area of frigid low-pressure air spinning high in the atmosphere, strongest in winter when the pole gets no sunlight. The jet stream acts as a fence, keeping this cold air contained. When the jet stream is strong and straight, the vortex stays put, and we get normal winters. The polar vortex isn't a single storm. It's a persistent feature in both the stratosphere and troposphere. The stratospheric vortex is the main driver keeping the jet stream below it strong and steady. For most of history, this system worked quietly, rarely making headlines. But recently, scientists have noticed the system is acting up. The jet stream fence is weakening, letting cold air escape. That's when things get interesting. And very cold for us. The once stable polar vortex is now a wild card in our weather. Let's see what's changed. The polar vortex used to be a well-behaved spinning top, balanced over the North Pole. Now, it's wobbling, becoming weaker and stretched out like taffy. The culprit? Sudden stratospheric warming, when energy from below slams into the vortex, rapidly heating the air and disrupting its spin. This weakens the vortex, loosening its grip and slowing the jet stream. A strong vortex keeps cold locked up, a weak one lets it escape. Meteorologists now watch the stratosphere closely. These warming events are major clues. When one happens, it's a warning. Extreme cold could be coming in the weeks ahead. This discovery has changed weather forecasting. Now we look higher up to predict what's coming down. The polar vortex's wobble is a game changer for our winters. Let's see what happens when it really breaks apart. When the polar vortex gets a shove, it can stretch and even split into smaller blobs of arctic air. Imagine a spinning blob of clay, poke it, and pieces break off and fly away. These cold blobs don't stay at the pole, they drift south over North America, Europe, and Asia. It's not the whole vortex moving, but a chunk of it bringing arctic cold to new places. This is called a displacement or a split. The result? Sudden dramatic plunges in temperature. True arctic air delivered to your doorstep. A weak split vortex means the jet stream becomes wavy, creating super highways for cold air to surge south. At the same time, warm air can surge north, flipping weather patterns. That's why you might see Alaska warmer than Florida. These splits are the key to understanding our wildest cold snaps. The polar vortex's instability is rewriting winter as we know it. Let's see how this plays out in your neighborhood. How does a wobbly vortex miles above affect your daily life? It's all about the jet stream. When it's strong, cold air stays north. When it's wavy, the barrier breaks down. A deep dip in the jet stream, called a trough, acts like a slide, letting Arctic air pour into the US. This isn't a normal cold front. It's a full-on invasion, with temperatures 20, 30, even 40 degrees below average. The cold is sharp, the wind chill dangerous, and life grinds to a halt. Schools close, flights cancel, pipes burst, all because of a disturbance that started high above the North Pole. When meteorologists warn of a lobe of the polar vortex, this is what they mean. A piece of the Arctic has come to visit, and it's not a polite guest. Next time you shiver through a cold snap, remember, 
it's the polar vortex, making its presence felt. Our atmosphere's wild dance has real-world consequences. Let's look at a dramatic example. Remember the Texas freeze of February 2021? It was a textbook polar vortex disruption. It began weeks earlier with a sudden stratospheric warming event, weakening the vortex and sending a lobe of Arctic air south. The jet stream plunged, creating a direct pipeline from the North Pole to Texas. Dallas and Houston saw single-digit temperatures for days. Snow and ice blanketed the state. Texas's infrastructure, built for heat, buckled. Power grids failed, pipelines froze, and millions lost heat and electricity. People burned furniture to stay warm, water systems failed. The freeze caused $200 billion in damages and hundreds of deaths. It was the costliest disaster in Texas history. The lesson? A polar vortex disruption isn't just science. It's a direct threat to our safety. Our infrastructure must adapt to new extremes. We can't just prepare for the weather we expect. We have to prepare for the unexpected. Now let's connect the dots to climate change. Is climate change making the world colder? It sounds odd, but there's a powerful link. The Arctic is warming twice as fast as the rest of the planet, a process called Arctic amplification. As sea ice melts, the region absorbs more heat, warming even faster. The polar vortex is strongest when the Arctic is much colder than the mid-latitudes. But as the Arctic warms, that temperature difference shrinks, weakening the jet stream. A weaker, wavier jet stream lets the polar vortex wobble and spill cold air south. It's like a river slowing down and meandering in big loops. Paradoxically, a warming Arctic can mean more intense cold snaps for us. Not all scientists agree on the strength of this link, but evidence is growing. Climate change isn't just about heat. It's about more extreme, unpredictable weather of all kinds. The polar vortex is a prime example of this new climate reality. Let's see how science is helping us prepare. Scientists are watching the polar vortex closer than ever. Weather balloons and satellites track temperatures, winds, and the vortex's shape in real time. Satellites spot sudden stratospheric warming events, giving us early warnings of instability. All this data feeds into supercomputers running climate models, simulating the atmosphere's next moves. These forecasts help cities and power companies prepare for Arctic blasts. The better we predict, the better we can protect ourselves. This research isn't just about the next cold snap, it's about understanding our changing climate. Scientists are asking, will vortex disruptions become more common as the planet warms? The answers will help us build a safer, more resilient world. Knowledge is our superpower. The more we learn, the better we can face the future. So, as we shiver through another unseasonably cold day, we know it's not just random weather. The polar vortex connects melting Arctic ice to a wobble in the sky, to the cold air in your neighborhood. It's a perfect example of how everything on our planet is linked. Climate change isn't just about warming. It's about disruption and extremes in every direction. We need to be ready for heat waves, floods, and yes, more intense cold snaps. But knowledge is power. We can study, predict, and adapt. We're the first generation to truly understand these global connections, and the last that can change our future. Next time you bundle up, think about the journey that air took from the top of the world to you. Let it spark your curiosity and conversations. Support science, share what you learn, and work together to protect our home. The future of our planet is in our hands. Let's get to work.